Hallo und herzlich willkommen zum Infrastructure Review dieses Jahr. Wir haben wie immer von ganz vielen Teams ganz viele Zahlen zusammengetragen, die wir euch jetzt gerne präsentieren wollen. Genau, nach vier Tagen DPN geht es langsam zum Ende. Geht sich dem Ende zu. Wie hat es denn euch gefallen? Hattet ihr Spaß? Oh, habt wer ihr kommt alle? Da? Oh, wir haben Post gekriegt. Genau, ihr habt einmal Post bekommen. Uh, Eilbrief. Chaos Post. Oh, vielen Weil Dank, liebe. Uh. Vielen Dank, liebe Chaos Post. Ein Applaus für die Chaos Post. Vorlesen? Willst du vorlesen? So, wer will es einmal vorgelesen haben? Kleine gute Nachtgeschichte von der Chaos Post. Chaos Post bedankt sich für ein großartiges Event. Wir möchten uns auch bedanken für die UV-Installation. Die machte das Identifizieren von Karten, bei denen Nachrichten und Adresse in UV geschrieben waren, deutlich einfacher. <lacht> Sondermeldung. Bilaterales Chaos war im Sondereinsatz. Es wurde ein Antrag zugestellt. Ja, halt so ein Antrag. Und ähm, auch die positive Antwort wurde zurückübermittelt. Glückwunsch von der Chaospost. Ja. Wir würden dann mal weitermachen mit unserem ersten OC und zwar das Team Content würde gerne ein paar Sachen zu dem sagen, was sie dann auf dieser GPN so angestellt haben. Ja, hallo zusammen. Ich hoffe, wir, wir haben noch kein Bild. Ah. Ah. Juhu, wir haben Bild. Ah, und jetzt haben wir auch Content. Genau, als erstes mal mit den obligatorischen Nummern. Wir haben 155 Sessions gehabt mit, von 134 Speaker, SpeakerInnen, 102 Unique Talks, kann sich jeder ausrechnen, wie viel da vielleicht doppelt vorgekommen sind, 34 Unique Workshops, 13 Unique Meetups und eine nicht näher bekannte Anzahl Self-Organized Sessions irgendwo im Gelände. Erstmal äh, schon mal vielen, vielen Dank an alle SpeakerInnen und Speaker und alle, die sonst äh, beteiligt waren an den Sessions. Um das Ganze zu organisieren, was natürlich auch kein so ganz kleiner Task war, haben wir insgesamt 1196 E-Mails an die SpeakerInnen geschickt und wir hatten von euch ungefähr 660 äh, Re workshop reservierungen Au Augenblick, alles der Reihe nach. <lacht> Genau, wir hatten vier Lyra-Talks. Und ganz wichtig, die Lyra-Talks gleichmäßig verteilt über alle Tage. Nicht, dass wir ein Problem mit zu viel Waffelkeksen auf einmal bekämen. Ja, noch ein paar weitere Zahlen. Wir hatten ins äh, insgesamt bisher 38 release candidate fahrplan äh, Version bis gerade eben 13 Uhr, glaube ich. Ich hoffe, dass das Team Content die erste Version des stabilen GPN 21 Fahrplans heute gegen 16 Uhr releasen kann. Und ihr hattet sehr viel Interesse an, an unserem Programm dieses Jahr. Wir hatten so das ein oder andere Mal ein klitzekleines DDoS-Problem hier in, im Mädchentheater. Äh, wir haben Gott sei Dank eine fähige oder, oder, oder eine sehr gute Premium-Leitstelle am Trolldesk gehabt, die uns äh, immer spontan haufenweise Trolle vorbeigeschickt haben, äh, um dann in kürzester Zeit diese über 200 Leute hier im Mädchentheater austauschen zu können. Ähm, mindestens der Marodor Talk und der ein oder andere Lyra Talk und natürlich die Demoszene haben das geschafft. Ich weiß nicht, welche ich noch alle vergessen habe. Ähm, auf alle Fälle, wir hatten sehr oft einen, der Talk ist überbesetzt dieses Jahr. Äh, ich glaube, wir müssen uns da was überlegen. Genau, an, erst, äh, an dieser Stelle vom Team Content, vielen Dank an alle Beteiligten, an die SpeakerInnen, an die Trolle, insbesondere auch die Crowd Control äh, Trolle, die hier teilweise sehr, sehr kurzfristig äh, eingespannt wurden, um irgendwie euch hier rein und raus zu bekommen, ohne dass es da größere Unfälle gibt. Vielen Dank auch an Swog 
die das ganze Programm, ja, ohne mich umzubringen, äh, gestreamt und recorded haben, weil wir hätten nicht einen Talk mehr reinbekommen. Ähm, genau. Und Werbung, wir suchen für nächstes Jahr dringend Trolle, die dieses Mädchentheater auf vielleicht 400 Plätze oder so erweitern können. Ja, und damit gehen wir gleich weiter zum nächsten OC. Margot, du machst aber, glaube ich, soweit ich weiß, gleich weiter. Genau, wir haben noch ein bisschen Presse und Social Media. Wir hatten dieses Jahr das erste Jahr... Okay, ähm, das erste Jahr eine eigene Fediverse-Instanz, Social Gulag CH, äh, mit GoTo Social am Laufen, um dezentral mit euch kommunizieren zu können, um unseren Teams äh, die Möglichkeit zu geben, äh, in, in die große, weite, dezentrale Fedi-Welt hinaus tröten zu können. Ähm, genau. Dazu ein paar Statistiken. Wir haben äh, 143 Posts vom großen GPN-Account gehabt, 570 Follower, wo seid ihr alle? Also da geht, glaube ich, noch ein bisschen mehr. Ähm, genau, bis, bis heute. Ähm, wir werden euch da auch natürlich noch weiter mit Infos versorgen zur GPN, ähm, zur nächsten GPN. Ähm, genau. Ja. Dieselben noch, äh, die, die, dieselben äh, Zahlen nochmal und ganz wichtig, nahezu eine unmessbare Anzahl an meme Tuts, die der Trolldesk ähm, mhm. initiiert hat. Vielen Dank auch nochmal an dieser Stelle an den Trolldesk äh, für ihre äh, Recruiting-Memes. Um. I have just been informed that we have been that we started this infrastructure in the wrong language. Uh, we were in fact supposed to hold it in English. Oops. Uh, we will. <laughs> we we have just asked all of the team leads presenting to try and figure that out. Sorry if we will slip into German at some point. Uh, it'll it'll just happen. So Magau, you've done it successfully two times. Would you like to try it a third time? Yeah, I think there was a third thing coming up. This year, we at first had the GPNV, the Gulag Person Nahverkehr, which all of you ho probably already have tried and will try again later. Can you translate it to English, please? <laughs> um, nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, sometime during the GPN preparation earlier this year, there was a press message coming up from VBK which is saying they are doing big construction works um, this year. So I looked it up and I thought, uh, beginning of June, that could be interesting. Yeah, that's what it is. So shut down all trams from ZKM to Hauptbahnhof uh, during the GPN. Uh, so we started to look into it, what, what we can do. And this year, we have it's the first time we have our own GPN bus line running today between 12 and 16 o'clock between here and Hauptbahnhof, so you can all, yeah, hopefully uh, find your way into, uh, into your bed or another relaxing location after this GPN and have no worries how you get there. And while we are on it, we of course also built uh, GERIS, the Gulasch Reisenden Informationssystem, for all uh, Bahn Bubble people here. I won't translate that also. So uh, we, we are having some uh, signs in the uh, InfoBeamer uh, on, on, on the monitors. Uh, we, are, we are having all around where you can go and uh, which tram, which bus from which uh, stop near the ZKM and HFG. Uh, we have somehow escalated some signs so you all find your way home and didn't got, get lost in the uh, hot summer of Karlsruhe on a Sunday evening. So if you go out, you uh, uh, we, we freshly uh, put, put up um, a bunch of signs leading you to the Hauptbahnhof so you can find your way home. And the most important uh, part last, some of you might know traveling, a platform um, where, where you can track all your travels, etc. And thanks to the traveling team, you can also check in only today, 
only until 16 o'clock in our GPN shuttle bus. That will never be possible again this year. The line GPN doesn't, uh, just doesn't exist after that. Give it up for Magau. So, uh, our next OC will be heralding. Um, heralding didn't actually send us somebody to, to talk because they don't have anything important to say. Uh, all they want us to say is that, well, we had heralds, and every single talk had a herald uh, to, to accompany it. Um, yeah, so next we will have the merch desk, who's also not here today. <laughs> So let me actually fill in for the merch desk. It's uh, quite fitting as I'm from Troll Desk and we are neighbors, if one might say so. Um, merch desk was pretty successful this year. Um, never has been merch uh, sold out so quickly. We actually sold uh, around 2,500 items. Um, there's a single t-shirt left, so if, if anyone would like a fitted S in lilac, like, head out now. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> Let's go, Johanna. Yes, and um, we have a bunch of hoodies left. So it's uh, beginning of summer, you all need some warm clothes. So <laughs> buy some hoodies. So, Avara, I think the next one is also you. Yes, it's Troll Desk. Let's go. Or actually, Troll Hule, which is Troll Cave. Um, the numbers I'm presenting are from uh, 1 uh, 30, so pretty fresh. Um, I have some pretty graphs for you, so if you could go like, oh, oh, ah, ah, eh, Thanks. no, wait. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Um, because those graphs can be pretty overwhelming, I put them in numbers. We had, <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, again, again. Ah. This time E. Ooh. You're trolling me. <laughs> well, yes. I, I, have, I have to help keep GPN running, don't I? Yeah, kind of. Trolling is important. Yes, please troll us more. Well, troll with us, troll us and troll with us. Something in the middle. <laughs> we had 573 active trolls, which is pretty, pretty damn amazing. We only had about around 400 like two weeks ago. Um, 792 trolls registered. And the most tracked workload was 48 hours. <laughs> which if you count it, like there's four days of GPN, which is 12 hours per day. I have to preface this with the workload also includes build-up, so there's two more additional days, but please give it up for this troll. <laughs> I think the troll knows who he is. <laughs> We had 701 shifts planned. Um, in total, 16.3 weeks of work was done. 1.22 weeks of work still has to be done, looking at all of you, and the one in the stream. <laughs> um, 5.74 weeks of work had to be uh, filled in by hand, which is you show up at our desk and then we go like, okay, when did you work? What did you do? How much did you do? Um, which is quite amazing. It's work that is additional. Most importantly, the kitchen profited by this a lot. So I feel like the kitchen is quite happy about that number. And 74 trolls um, actually worked during peak um, at the same time. So we also have the troll system in graphs. Oh. Ah, hey. <laughs> yes, and for numbers again, please now. Oh. Uh, okay, let's move on. Yes. 
<laughs> this year we uh, introduced uh, food vouchers. So if you um, trolled us or trolled with us for four hours, you could um, go and pick up a food voucher. And we handed out 502 food vouchers, which means 502 meals were provided for trolls. Uh, thanks so much for the kitchen, for the 502 meals for the helpers. <laughs> Let's just do languages quickly because I know you like the themes. Um, 345 of you have the troll system in German and 447 in English. Sadly, there's no other option available. The themes. 738 people have the troll system in dark mode. <laughs> is, any some, uh, is anybody surprised here? Show of hands. I don't see a single hand for the people watching in stream. And uh, 23 people had it in light mode. I have to out myself as one of them. <laughs> yes. No, no, no. <laughs> We are stuck in a uh, loop, wrong loop. Um, there have been around 60,000 sessions and 8,000 log entries and only eight password resets. So a bunch of you are using password managers, which is quite amazing. Last thing, we trolled you. We, the troll cave, trolled you with a bunch of memes before the um, actual GPN. And um, I would like to leave this meme with you for a second, as I thank all the trolls who helped us. Thank you so much. This um, GPN wouldn't have been able to um, well, be this awesome without you. Please give it up for the trolls. And as we are the troll cave, I find it only fitting that with my last meme, I'm trolling all of you. I actually posted it. But like, if you read the fine print, you've all just been recrolled. Thank you so much. <laughs> Good thing that's not legible on the protector. <laughs> so next up is the third, and I'm going to pick up the person who's Presenting set. Come on, Sophie. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. You're ah. <laughs> hey. Hi. I'm from third. Oh wait, the space bar. Yeah. You trust the partner in incident handling. I don't have any clue when we were established, so we left that out. I'm here to present the quarterly business results. So for our main departments here, the <laughs> medical department. So 20, no, GPN 19, we had 31 patients and we had an increase to, so this slide is outdated. <laughs> 76 is now real. For the facility, we had zero evacuations. So to the person who used the laser cutter minutes ago, a nice try. <laughs> So we have a strong decline here. We have to think what we do with facility. On the technical side, our technical runners were pretty, pretty, pretty under heavy load. We had we didn't count it anymore. So basically, every few minutes, we had to remind the entire GPN to please free up the escape routes. That's nothing we um, actually wanted to do, but we have to do it. So if you want to help us next year, everything within the black yellow line is space to play. Outside, not. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> you want to do the R or A thing again? <laughs> nah, let's, let's skip oh, please that. Do it. Let's, let's skip that this time. <laughs> okay. <Yeah>. Oh. <laughs> Can't control the audience. <laughs> yeah, well. So for our indirect departments, HR, so we have an HR manager. Um, you see the hours of, let's say, worked help here, and we also had an increase there. Um, to acquire new trolls, this was also a little bit more heavy, so we had shifts from 8 o'clock in the morning to 2 o'clock in the night. So uh, basically, thanks to the bar team who offered us a lot of mate, uh, we got more trolls. This was really helpful. Also, we had, uh, 
yo, we found a new department, import export. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, uh, the bar ran out of sugar middle in the night on uh, Thursday, and they had no clue where to acquire it, so we did that. <laughs> um, also, you see that we had quite a huge increase in patients, um, more work, more stuff to be bought, basically. So if you try to find something in Karlsruhe, which is there for first aid, they are odd. <laughs> <laughs> also, that means more costs. And thanks to GPN Orga, who, let's say, did all the acquiring and purchasing for us. Um, if you want to help them, please donate them. That's their work. If this was too long, too long didn't read. So again, strong demand increase, our strategy to diversify. Our yeah, customers worked. In German, uh, also the line of this cab route is simply there and has to be respected. There's also a paragraph of the chaos Verordnung. Please respect that. <laughs> Facility, as mentioned, we have to see what we do there. Uh, maybe we just strip the department in the future and hope it stays calm. And our third Einkauf and retail team was also quite successful, because it was good. On a purchasing, well, public holiday, what to do? Yeah, so you simply go to the petrol station. Uh, station. Cars have a pretty good uh, yeah, first aid kit, and we simply yeah, scaled that up. So thanks for purchasing who did the drives, but you get the numbers later. Also thanks to the person who certified us, um, to the awesomeness. So we are now compliant to the awesomeness standard. We try to keep that up next year. Speaking about next year, so we just anticipated that GPN 22 will be a thing. I know that's not yet decided, but we, we will be there to help you. It, it would be awesome to see you in an empty ZKM and AFG just sitting around with nobody around. That would be no perfect. GPN. We will bring pizza and have a great time. <laughs> Fair point. OK, we do that. OK, um, yeah, so. You see that here, the pictures, there is a, a fire extinguisher in the wall, and now that's hidden, but there's a red sign there, so just keep that open. Red signs are not the stickers we put on our notebooks. Um, and also, if you're drinking coffee, please use a mug, um, because we know coffee is a dangerous good. Please label it correspondingly. It doesn't make sense to have a mug with a on laying around, the troll is coming in saying, hey, I want to close this because acetone is not that harmful, but let's close it. And it's hot. <laughs> okay. Then, um, to all the technicians of the house, namely Sebastian, Alex, Tobias, thank you for the trusty partnership we had here. We had four amazing days. It was a really good collaboration. So if you're not here, thank you. It was awesome. See you next year. And with that, thanks to the entire second row here, which was just third. Everything was calm. We are out. Bye bye. Next up, we have our purchasing department, which was already thanked by third just now, but I think they have their own numbers to present. Yes. Hello. So we are purchasing department. So technically, we also collide with the POC. So we are POC now because they are after us, so I just claimed the namespace. Um, so to start, this year there was a spontaneous escalation of a cargo bike, which has uh, been uh, ridden from Frankfurt down to here by a Entropian. So thanks to Herbert for providing us with this nice cargo bike and also driving it, because I drove it once. It's bad. <laughs> Give it up for Herbert. It's really bad. Like It's like driving in slush. Um, we used it also for the spontaneous escalation of the uh, medical supplies during our public holiday where everything is closed except for like oil uh, petrol stations. So now to the, oh god, what is that in English? Um, <laughs> Traffic violations. Yes. <laughs> so. Uh, I think those numbers are lo looking really good. So on the right, you see all accidents. 
That's a lot. So those accidents are only in the purchasing, not at the whole of GPN. That's way more. <laughs> And on the uh, right side is uh, speeding tickets. <laughs> Because sometimes the kitchen just needs their stuff quick. <laughs> so, yes, public holiday again during GPN. So, naturally, in France, there's not a public holiday. <laughs> so, we drove to France. That makes two times uh, a border crossing. And uh, on the same note about public holidays, um, the number of petrol stations with like a tiny supermarket we raided uh, kind of grew. And as it's extremely hot today, uh, and yesterday, and yesterday, uh, yesterday, water, we have a lot of water, a great amount of water, drink more water. There's water left for the teardown. As you can see on the graph on the right, uh, we got like a, f yeah, a lot more water this year, almost like 1.5 cubic meters. And I see that someone snuck in Perlenbacher <laughs> to the water. <laughs> so I guess that makes Perlenbacher water now. <laughs> the Perlenbacher Operation Center is also the POC now. <laughs> TLDR, we purchased things. Metro, Metro's credit uh, uh, margin thingy we got is full. Our accounts are also empty, so event's over. <laughs> There's actually one more uh, slide you have missed. <laughs> Ah, yes, sorry, I didn't know that this belonged to us. Uh, yeah, so thanks to all uh, people who spontaneously showed up, sent out by the Trollhöhle, who helped us unload uh, water, supplies, anything, like an insane amount of stuff that we loaded in direct sunlight uh, with 30 degree hot air, physical hard work. So thanks to everyone who helped us there. Thanks a lot. Next up is Kitchen, the people who provided us with nice goulash. Is anybody from the kitchen here? Well, guess PowerPoint karaoke it is. Okay, let's go. Let's see how this goes. Kitchen. Um, we did a uh, Flammkuchen. I don't actually know what that is in English. Nah, me neither. Okay. Flame bread? Okay, let's go with that. <laughs> You know, uh, the um, people who actually run this event or do this event, uh, the Entropia, um, we actually have our own location here in Karlsruhe. And if you would put all the Flammkuchen uh, next to each other, it would be 0.9 of Entropia. So we couldn't go anywhere. So luckily, you all ate them. <laughs> If you were to fill up the gulas um, with, uh, in, in chunk um, cups, um, reference to the bar, um, it would be 1,600 uh, chunk cups. Um, we have half a ton of potatoes. And... Hmm? What kind of ton? Metric ton. Sorry, we don't use imperial tons here. <laughs> Ah, a fuckton of a, a fuckton and a half a ton of metrical ton, so that would be equivalent. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, since the opening, there's like um, people who actually need to clean the dishes, which is not the bestest of job. And to protect you, you have some sort of clothing over your actual clothing, and it was missing since the opening. And 30 hours later, it was finally found. So after then, all trolls were left clean. <laughs> oh, uh, next up is the VOC with W for Waffle Operation Center for all the nice waffles. I Do we have someone from VOC here? I don't believe we have anybody who's able to bake waffles here. So I'll just take over and try to, to say what the walk wanted us to say. Kara, uh, PowerPoint karaoke part two. 
Um, so the Vogue had uh, seven irons to bake waffles in, which were uh, in use from about 3 p.m. until after midnight. Um, they made the dough from 180 kilograms of flour, which should be about half a pallet. Um, there were a lot of different variants of waffles, the classical ones, the vegan ones, the ones without uh, lactose, uh, the ones without gluten, and as well, the ones made from croissant, which I, they are actually quite good, can recommend. Uh, and 800 of those uh, croissants were, were baked into waffles. Um, there were apparently three birthdays, which they made uh, like a waffle cake. Uh, uh, and they also cooked some potatoes and goulash in the waffle tent, despite the kitchen being right next to the waffle tent. I'm just not going to question that. Uh, next up, we have the breakfast. Thank you so much. So uh, this time we had, this was the first time we had organized pre-organized breakfast. Uh, so at the last time it was pretty spontaneous. At uh, this time. Not so much, actually, but still spontaneous because you ate more than we anticipated. Uh, and if you would put all the uh, buns together, you would actually form the length of all the whole uh, of the, uh, the building. And um, we actually purchased over 100 um, cucumbers. And uh, it was like still two less, and uh, Spark uh, thankfully bought some more. Um, as you could imagine, uh, and as you could ho hopefully see, there was this kind of voting system that we used. Um, unfortunately, it's not so well on this image, but you could actually vote on what we should improve on. And uh, it, for the last time, it was, um, no, so yesterday, it was, okay. Uh -oh. Spacebar. Uh, shift spacebar? Just spacebar. No, I don't want, I don't want to go hell? back. <laughs> I want to go back to the, to the previous slide. Uh, parent slide, thank you. So uh, yesterday it was uh, about more buns variation, it was actually the case today. And then we had um, this troll uh, today who um, like wanted to know whether the people wanted more trolls. And um, so, yeah. I don't know why, but uh, he also added something to thank me for organizing. And that was uh, the most put today. So. <laughs> So that's it. Uh, hopefully, uh, you all yeah, got saturated. And now it's time for the cocktail bar. I tried to give you Sauerland, but I couldn't find any stats on how much alcohol is consumed in the whole of Sauerland. So the best I could do was Mold Moldo. <laughs> so uh, yeah, in the three days, you drank uh, as much as 170.89 Moldo's drink in one day. <laughs> And um, yeah, uh, it was the second time we had the cocktail bar. It was a huge success. It drank us completely empty by the end, and you already drank us uh, two thirds empty on the second day. So we had to improvise a bit uh, and came up on the fly with another cocktail, and this was also a huge, huge success. It only lasted for about an hour. <laughs> And yeah, uh, please give it up a huge thanks for all the uh, mixologists who helped out behind the bar and made this possible. Thank you. So next up is the Chaos Pass. I'm still missing the statistics from them. Can't deliver. Oh, thank you very much. That's excellent. Um, so yeah. Uh, Chaos Post delivered 855 postcards to the default world. Uh, of that, they delivered 664 postcards to Germany and the rest into 28 different countries worldwide. Um, there were six brand new postcard designs uh, that were showed off for the first time at GPN, and there were five limited hand painted postcards. Um, 42 awesomeness certificates were delivered to the various OCs and people that were just awesome. Um, and the Chaos Post had a lot of services uh, in use this time. Um, they had the online office, which was used to submit 260 postcards. Uh, they had different surfing suggestions, uh, love letters, UV pens, secret messages, and just chaos everywhere. So, going from snail mail to 
electronic mail, kind of, uh, the knock. <laughs> Okay. Thank you very much. So, um, for for our work. <laughs> okay. So, uh, for our work to or for the internet to be to be working on uh, on GPN, um, we had some hardware acquired. We had one router, one firewall, nine servers, 40, uh, 46 switches, 53 access points, and two Wi-Fi controllers. Um, the network in numbers, we had 3 million routes, about, around about 3 million routes to the internet, uh, 1,705 uh, 1, Wi-Fi wi wi clients peak, and 50 gigabits per second traffic peak um, over the whole event, um, which leads to about one petabyte, so 1,000 terabytes of data uh, coming from the internet and pushing uh, to the internet from this event um, around day one to to like uh, an hour ago. So for this network traffic, um, oh, <laughs> ah, Ooh. sorry, I just had to do it. <laughs> That's totally fine. So uh, for the network traffic, we have uh, a network traffic graph which only covers like uh, Friday. We hadn't had monitoring until Friday in, uh, mid noon, <laughs> but we started on Friday around uh, around uh, 1 pay, uh, p.m. or something. Then the monitoring broke a bit, and after that, after that, it it kept it kept running. Uh, I don't know where you have been on Saturday, on, on a night from Friday to Saturday. I don't know. We hadn't like any traffic there. But after that, we from Saturday uh, fifth, uh, three, uh, 3 p.m., we had a constant flow of traffic going on. For the Wi-Fi clients, um, looks like you come and go. So, uh, <laughs> looks like you come and go. Um, around uh, we have around two or three hours of um, yeah three of uh, two or three hours of less people being around here and for the rest a bunch of people are there and locked into our Wi-Fi um, but we can see that all, uh, already a bunch of people left GPN so it's more important for the rest remaining here to help with teardown which is already running outside um, we got support um, from various sponsors, from uh, from Flex Optics, from uh, from HCD Consulting, who provided uh, the optics, our fiber optics, uh, and the uh, and our router, uh, support from every other OC, which helped us out. We had, uh, well, we were missing network cables, so uh, VOC helped out um, the troll desk with Avara and with Zidri. Um, which gave us shifts and gave us people who helped us with our work. And then uh, Alma sitting there and Avara for fixing of the internet uh, on day one. So in the morning of day one, um, you see it there. So Alma sitting on our router uh, fixing our internet. Then next to the POC. Well, that's just, that's fitting. I think it's working. <laughs> I uh, try my best to do it in English. Um, we play it to about 16 deck antennas uh, around the building and inside it. Um, uh, there will be registered 452 uh, decked devices. Thank you for using uh, the self-registration process for the most of them. Um, we had on-site uh, four telephony PBXs, uh, thank you. Um, two of them uh, virtual servers and uh, two of them um, are in flight cases placed in Setcam and one in... Uh, HFG. Yeah, thank you. Um, <laughs> Some fun facts. 
On the first day, uh, there, there come some people and want to send faxes. <laughs> okay. Uh, we try to work on it. Uh, someone uh, sent uh, successfully faxes. Really nice to know. Um, we walked around the building everywhere to get our antennas detect, uh, uh, connected. And uh, we walked away of 600,000 deck lengths. <laughs> um, yeah, we found uh, out that some of you have Metal decks. Uh, really much of them. We don't know about it, but uh, there are some models from really much countries, and all of them have a different firmware. <laughs> it's really hard to connect them to the PBX. Um, the longest uh, antenna uh, cable way goes through four uh, cable rooms on three floors. Uh, or, and to make the... Uh, to make the build-up a little bit... Interesting. Exciting. <laughs> Uh, we uh, put two um, port Doppler on this cableway. <laughs> but the good thing, all of the antennas are working. This is a snippet of our monitoring in Grafana. Um, the points will be switched to red if some antenna will be go down. Yeah, um, there you see the 15 antennas inside the building on three floors, and uh, one of them outside. It's not the tree, it's behind the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Next up, we move on from phones to video, uh, to the video operation center, which I'm going to present. Um, we had one lucky cat which had to have surgery during the event, but as far as I know, it's working again. Uh, we had 128 recording tickets, of which we staged and like recorded 91. Uh, the total duration of recordings was 81 hours and 32 minutes. We are about 85% done with the releasing of the recordings. We are uh, working on getting that number as high as possible for uh, Teardown uh, concludes. Um, we had a lot of trolls working a lot of hours in all the different uh, stages um, to get the video recordings working. We also had a few special things. Uh, we had the demo show, which got a high quality stream for the first time ever. Um, we had zero complete crashes, but some technical issues. Um, we had a total of four backups over different systems that we used to record the demo show, uh, leaving us with 293 gigabytes of audio and video data to process. And it's sadly not the only repair job still left to do. Uh, it'll take some time to release the last few talks. Um, we had a graph with viewers. Oh. Are we going to finish like all the the uh, letters at some point? <laughs> uh, we also had a graph with uh, the, uh, our storage. Um, turns out that GPN 21 at the end with all of the main recordings, the backups recordings, the encoded video files, etc., took up about five terabytes of, of data on our systems. Um, next up. <laughs> Uh, next up, we have a few things from our decoration team, which is not here. No, so, no. oh, they are here. They are here. Hello. 
A random stranger, Madonius, showed up in the hackerspace of Ghent and said, we always miss decoration. And then suddenly I got in over my head. Uh, we got half a kilometer of UV tape on the walls. Uh, we used 150 watts of UV lights. And um, everybody got really pissed I stole all their pallets. <laughs> uh, that's about it. I hope to see you again at camp with way too many UV tape. <laughs> we also have a photo of what the UV tape looks like if you press the space bar. That's some of the art that people made in the uh, HFG. Uh, uh, that person oh. made those two things. Yep. And, yes. Uh, she, she, she did an amazing job. Yeah. It, it looks amazing if you have a chance to look at it before we tear it all down, but I think we've already started. It's doing all that, gone. So. Sorry, Aww. you missed it. It took one hour and a half for, I think, 17 people to get it off, <laughs> which oh. is way better than getting it on there. Also, it only took one person to cover a lot of paint. So, yeah. But it's all gone again. Let's move on to the next OC. <laughs> and I would like to... Um Welcome the lounge and lounge control. The stage is yours. Yes, hello. Uh, we are lounge control. I'm a bit tired, sorry. <laughs> it was late yesterday. Um, yeah, we organized two stages, uh, the lounge and the kitchen, st kitchen stage. Um, yeah, the graphic is a bit fucked up, but it's okay. Um, yeah, we have some numbers for you. Uh, we had, on the lounge stage, we had uh, 22 DJ artists and acts. Um, from which were seven were with live music and 15 DJs. Um, and we had eight different VJ artists who made the visuals. And yeah, four newcomers, really, really nice. Um, yeah, we had a content runtime on the launch stage of roughly about 32 hours. So yeah, in three days, I think that's <laughs> roughly uh, 10, 10 hours per day. It's really good. Um, yeah, on the kitchen stage, which, which was the small stage outside on the kitchen, um, we had seven artists um, and many, many more on the open stage, which I <laughs> couldn't count. And we had 10 days plus roughly about 15, uh, 10 hours plus roughly about 15 hours uh, runtime on there. Yes. Uh, and, one and we had a minimum of one wash pit, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, um, yes. Yeah, um, mainly a huge thank you for the lounge technician team who made this all possible and also the, the house technicians, the third already thanked them, but I really want to bring it up again. And yeah, thanks to everyone who made the lounge um, this crazy thing of experience for us. <laughs> So, that concludes our infrastructure review. We're not quite done yet, though, because we also have an infrastructure review review with some nice graphs for you. Um, Pre no, not yet, but prepare. <laughs> in, the past, in the past years, we've always had exactly one infrastructure review at the end of each GPN. We are continuing that trend so far, but we are going to monitor it and figure out if next year might be different. Um, I think it's now our turn to hand over the microphone uh, to uh, whoever is doing the closing. <laughs> uh, we, we originally planned this to be the OEV, the uh, Obelix Ersatzvortragende vom Dienst. But yeah. it turns out that Obelix actually did reappear, so... Yeah, I was asleep a little bit. But I have no idea. I have not seen the slides yet. Ah, excellent. <laughs> More PowerPoint karaoke. So it's going to be fun. So I'm already, I don't know, expecting some bigger donuts for those who have been at the opening. But let's see if something happens. I'm watching you too there. It's dangerous. <laughs> okay. Uh, welcome to the closing. Um, how does... I'm confused. Yeah, I think I... Uh, an hour ago. I'm confused. Please help. <laughs> oh, no, you moved, you moved too far. 
I moved. I moved to the end. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. You Thank you. Press, you have to press space. Space. Okay. I think I pressed umlaut. Sorry. Um, <laughs> So uh, we are doing the dismantling. Dismantling is very important um, because uh, there are no magic trolls that come when you go. So we need you to stay and help a little bit. I think it's also part of the event. We want GPN to be something where everybody feels at home and we do things together, we hack together, we build up together, um, we sweat together outside and we also then clean up and uh, tear down together. It's quite important to drink a lot of water. You have seen we have bought a lot of water, so please drink um, all of it, and you will see people with these uh, construction shirts uh, in orange colors that uh, will be able to instruct you if you want to help something. So it'll be like, take this and put this here, or take that or put that there. Spacebar. <laughs> feedback? Oh yeah, you can give feedback, which is uh, um, really important um, for us, because we want to know what you liked, we also want to know what you didn't like. Um, please provide feedback in a civilized manner. Um, there is this uh, uh, postcard from the uh, C3 post office that says uh, uh, "Online sind wir asozial, draußen sind wir normal" or something like that. Uh, please be nice in the feedback. Uh, please remind yourself that this is not like some kind of thing you buy at the supermarket. Uh, this is an event which is run by other humans, by trolls, um, who put in a lot of passion into this event um, to make it like it is now. That doesn't mean that it has to stay like this. That doesn't mean that if you s didn't like something that someone explicitly made it to bother you. Um, so if there is something that you think can be improved, please write it. If uh, something was really nice, please write it as well. So that is quite um, important. Ah, there were some notes even. I think I didn't miss of them. But um, there are more events coming up. Uh, GPN is one event, but the chaos is decentralized in Germany and uh, the surrounding uh, states. And so uh, I want to point um, your attention to the WOMP at the Westwood 2023 camp, which will be end of this month. Um, the IGA, the Intergalaktische Erfahrungsreise in Bamberg. The Frostcon, yeah, this is all a bit new to me. I've just woken up, you know. Um, there is Frostcon, there is CCC camp, there is MRMCD. Um, so just uh, just look up in, on the uh, uh, on the internet. I'm sure you all have been there already. Uh, the different events and uh, attend and troll and help them. So maybe you will not be able to troll them because they don't have any trolls, but you can do um, other kind of helping work. Spenden. Spenden is very important. Uh, we said that it is pay what you can. Spenden means donation for those who uh, don't have a good German <laughs> vocabulary. So, uh, 42 euros uh, of recommended donation. You can still donate. You can even donate at night or tomorrow or in two weeks. Um, but maybe it's better to do it today because otherwise you might forget it. You can also send us more money. You can send us all your money. Um, <laughs> We will even give you a, a, a Spendenbescheinigung, which is a donation receipt. So, please um, the, look up this uh, uh, website for more information. You can also, I think, still donate in cash there. And if you donate more, that means that you also somehow buy the ticket for someone ticket. I want a day ticket. You donate for someone else as well, because there are a lot of uh, staff and people and folks who don't have, uh, who have less uh, financial uh, possibilities. Um, and they still want to uh, attend the event. So if you donate more, you're donating a little bit for them, so it's also possible for them to attend. We want to say thank you to uh, ZGAM and HFG for hosting us here at, uh, at the Hallenbau. Um, we want to thank, obviously, all active trolls, all suppliers who have been coming and going uh, on a daily basis. Um, I think we're still having a lot of fun with uh, Metro for uh, the payment processing of all the food we bought um, because some uh, related financial inst institution, which shall be renamed uh, unnamed, uh, has uh, stopped processing our payments. So it's a bit weird, even though we have the money, it can't get there, but we already have all the food and you already ate all the food. Um, <laughs> But this sounds like a Monday problem to me, so it's not for today. <laughs> uh, 
And uh, obviously, thank you to all of the OCs. I don't know how much OCs we have. It's been so much. It's been growing uh, over the many GPN. Um, and thank you, of course, to all of the uh, attendees and participants. And th so thank you to all of you. So, if you leave, uh, it's quite important, we already said it before, there's the Gulasch uh, Express Ersatzverkehr, um, which is a really nice German word. Uh, use it to go to the train station, maybe plan in a bit more uh, lead time, I don't know how uh, crowded it will be. Um, but if you miss your train, you can like come back and help more dismantling. So don't worry, there's always something to do here. Um, yeah, plan enough time, it's all on the slides, even in German. So in case you don't speak English, it's all there. I think that was it. Thank you very much. Last but not least, we're going to review our closing. We had a closing. That's it. Goodbye. <laughs>